I'm Cynthia Mulligan at Church in Wellington with a checkup now on just how accessible this city is. Now, the Accessibility Committee passed a motion at City Hall today asking the city to examine whether or not it could give grants to businesses to make their entrances accessible. Now, take this business here, a restaurant. It has a button where somebody could use to, to open the door, but look down, and ironically, there are two steps, so somebody with a wheelchair would not be able to access this entrance. And I spoke to a young woman today who uses a wheelchair, and she tells me that she can only access about 50% of this city. So I used to come here and get pizza, and they renovated it, and now I can't. Ian Ziv was so frustrated, not knowing what restaurants and stores would have access, that she created this website called Access Now. It maps the city by showing venues that are accessible. Two years later, there are more than 20,000 crowdsourced hits that show accessibility around the world. We have this goal to reach by 2025, where the AODA has said we will have a fully accessible uh, province. But here in Toronto, we have many advocates who work to solve barriers for each other and for the community. And we have the city of Toronto making that more difficult for us. If we're going to create ramps, let them be. They're helping people. Uh, and coming in and saying, well, this encroaches on sidewalk space or whatever it is, it benefits more people to have the ramp in place than it would to remove it. The invictive games, of course, are going on in the city right now. And I spoke to one man from the United Kingdom who is in a wheelchair, and he's here to play wheelchair rugby. And he tells me that he's had to learn to overcome the, the mental challenge of dealing with the frustration. 